Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Mrs. Adela Kwa from City Y Body College, Ibadan, your state. And welcome back to our e-learning classes. I'm to take you commerce SS3. Now we shall look at the last topic in the scheme, which is a, the continuation of nationalization, commercialization, individualization, and privatization. So today we shall continue with the topic. Now we want to look at the differences between nationalized industry and public limited company. Having understand the meaning of nationalization at our last class, that is government take over the control and ownership of private enterprises. Now, nationalized company and public limited liability. First, ownership. At the nationalized company, it is owned by government. At the public limited liability company, it is owned by shareholders. Aim. At nationalized company, to provide essential services. At a public limited liability company, profit making. Capital. At the nationalized company, provided by the government. At the public limited liability, provided by selling shares. Control. At the nationalized company, controlled by the board of directors appointed for the appointed by the government. At the public limited liability, controlled by board of directors elected by shareholders. Publication of account. At the nationalized company, do not usually publish accounts. At the public limited liability company, must publish their account. Those are the differences between the two. Now let's move to another subtopic: indigilization. Indigilization is the transfer of ownership and control of the business enterprise from the foreigner to the indigenous. It is a policy designed to ensure greater participation of indigenous in the ownership, control and management of business enterprise. The major aim is to reduce foreign domination of the economy and to ensure indigenous participation. Indigenization try to stimulate indigenous entrepreneurship. Now let's look at the advantages of indigenization. One. Ensure indigenous participation. Indigenization ensure greater participation of indigenous in the control and running of business enterprise of their country. Two, development of local technology. It lead to the development of local skills and technology. Three. Provision of employment opportunities. It creates employment opportunity for the indigenous. Four. Improve standards of living. 
The standards of living of the people will increase through participation in business enterprise. 5. Industrial development. Indigilization will bring about rapid industrialization of the economy. Now, let's look at the disadvantages. 1. Rich people can hijack the economy. Few rich people can use their financial wealth to buy and take over a business. Two. Disencouragement of foreign investment. Indigilization can discourage foreign investment in a country. 3. It can lead to capital flight. Indigilization can lead to capital flight as foreign investors will be forced to relocate to other countries. Now let's look at the difference between indigilization and nationalization. Indigilization 1. It transfer ownership of foreign businesses to citizens. In nationalized, it transfer ownership to the government. Two, it encourage indigenous participation. In the nationalized, it ensure monopoly of industrial activities. Now let's look at another subheading under the topic commercialization commercialization is a policy geared towards making state owned enterprise to become more efficient and profit oriented the policy make it possible for public enterprises to become more viable and effective now privatization on the other hand is a policy designed to ensure individual and private or corporate organization to take over the ownership and control of government business such as public companies and corporations. Now let's look at reason for commercialization and privatization. Efficient management. Commercialization and efficient management of enterprise. Two. To generate more revenue. They assist the government to generate more revenue. Autonomy of enterprise. It helps to provide autonomy of autonomy for the enterprise. Disadvantages of commercialization and privatization. One, generation of more revenue. So both policy equally help to boost the generation of revenue for the government to better choice by customer both policy do assist the customer to have a wide range of choice where there are abundant products three emergency of innovations the assistance of competition in the industry assist in the emergency of innovation now let's look at the disadvantages of commercialization and privatization one reduction in employment many workers are usually laid off when industries are commercialized or privatized two unevenly distribution of income Income is often unevenly distributed as a few individuals are now in control of the 
industry. Three, loss of customer welfare scheme. Under commercialization and privatization, customer welfare are not catered for. Now let's read more on the topic and let's check our portal for the assignment. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.